playing their game and playing it very well. And Alex does get that first pick onto Solf there. That will definitely help them get into this big site, but there's still three CTs around. Nice. Beautifully done. Alex with the second kill, so that's going to be the uh, the covered site somewhat open here. Obviously going to try and cut that rotation. Now Critical has started here as Alex picks up his third kill of the round. Carl's going to get the uh, final AWP kill onto Critical. That's going to be the end of your first half, of course. 12-3 the scoreline. And uh, 4K salvaging a little bit something there in the, uh, the sort of final third of the uh, first half, but I, I really don't think that's going to be enough, do you? It's, it's almost certainly not going to be enough. It's going to be a very difficult CT round. Obviously, it is easier on the CT, but it's not 12-3 easier, and I, I can't see them getting back into it enough to win this game now. Not only that, they've got no margin for error at this point. I mean, if the uh, the pistol does go against them, then that's pretty much GG, isn't it? Yeah, if if the pistol goes against them, they might as well just take off their headsets and start shooting wolves, really. Okay, well, I think we're, we're just about ready to go over to uh, to Matt, of course. Uh, we're not going to be too far from uh, from the second half here, but uh, Matt, why don't you take it away, my friend? Thank you, Jay and Corin, and I'm joined here by Crazy Cat. This is uh, actually your first time ever on ESL TV. Introduce yeah. yourself to the world. Um, well, um, Ollie known as Crazy Cat, and I've been playing CS for far too long. So I've ended up here and enjoying it thoroughly to an extent. Fantastic. And you've just been brought in to the Four Kings roster at last minute notice. I mean, some people have said you guys are almost like a, a mixed team going into this one. Would you say that that's a fair comment? Yeah, I'd say that's definitely fair. I think we're more looking forward to uh, France, which we'll be going straight after uh, we've finished here. And uh, we'll see what we can do there, really. Are you expecting to carry on playing in the Four Kings lineup for some time to come? Um, I should hope so, yeah, unless I do something terrible, I guess. And I mean, this isn't really a great start for you guys for your first ever matchup. If you go on to lose this one, I mean, are you going to feel pretty ashamed? Um, I guess it would have been nice to get a nice win here, but we're um, not taking too much from the game. We're just taking it as it comes, really, and going to see where we can go after this. You don't seem particularly concerned about, about winning after that shocking first half. I'm just so confident we're going to win. <laughs> You've got to be joking. No, of course not. <laughs> I a few rounds, that was it. <laughs> I mean, surely if you go on to lose this one, it's not going to bode well for you guys uh, as your future in the Four Kings lineup. Um, as I say, we'll just see what happens, we'll see how it goes. And uh, I don't know, you can't predict the future, can you? What do you really need to change? I mean, everything? Um, as I said, I felt we got unlucky in a few of them rounds and we took a gamble picking the harder side first. So uh, it didn't pay off and we'll just see what we can do this half really, that's what we can do. And how much beer are you really going to need to drink at the bar if you lose this one to, to forget this game? Um, however much 4K will pay for. <laughs> Thanks for your time, we'll uh, let you get back into the action.